Do I need gravel underneath of concrete? If you're pouring a new concrete slab, it's not critical that you use gravel. There are other options that you could use, but I would say largely, most commonly, gravel is what's used as a substrate. There's a couple of reasons why it's affordable, readily available, we're making concrete anyway, which has gravel in it. But also, it's a compactable material. We can run compaction over equip equipment over it, and we can achieve and a, a compaction such that you can reliably and consistently build over top of it, and it doesn't continue to sink. If it, if it were to continue to sink over time and stop supporting the concrete slab, that's when you run into problems. No matter whether you use gravel or a different substrate underneath of your concrete, it would be really important to remember that you want it to be wet. You definitely don't want to pour over top of dry, thirsty gravel. If you were to do that, it's going to leach and steal all the moisture from the fresh concrete that you're pouring, and that could definitely compromise the quality of your finished strength. If I were on my way to pick up aggregates right now and I needed to know what kind of gravel to use underneath concrete, I would use half inch clear or three quarter inch clear. That's, those are the typical sizes of stone that I would look for underneath a, a concrete slab. Mesh screenings, crush and run, sand, gravel, as long as it's compacted evenly and it's not going to continue to sink over time, and you go ahead and add some hydration to that right before you apply your concrete over top, you should find that to be a successful substrate for pouring concrete on top.